Hi everybody, welcome to part six of our introduction to improvisation. Congratulations learning all the parts for Major Duple. Uh, when all those parts happen together, they're what professional musicians would call a four-part harmony. Um, the four parts being the melody, the bass line, the mi fa line, and the do ti line. Um, and if you have some friends who are also learning from this video series, it can be very rewarding to get together and play all of those parts at the same time, because hearing that four-part harmony will change the way that you think about major duple. But I'll leave you to discover that on your own. You might have noticed that so far in this series, we haven't done a lot of improvisation. Mostly we've done um, me telling you what part to play and then you playing it. Uh, and that's gonna change today. This is the first day where we're gonna do some uh, real creative improvisation. And we're gonna do it using the parts that you already know. So let's start with the bass line and review it together. Remember to play the bass line, you only need do and so and we just go back and forth. So listen to it if you need a reminder. If you know it well, play along with me. One, two, three. <laughs> And you may need to practice that as a little refresher for yourself, and that's okay. So this time, I'm going to change the rhythms of the bass line, and I'm not going to really keep track of what I'm playing or when I'm playing it. I'm just going to put some rhythms on top and see what happens. But I want you to listen and notice that do and so happen at the same times that they would in the normal bass line and in the same order. In other words, I'm not changing anything about them. I'm just putting some rhythms on top. Listen close. Could you hear that do and so happen at the same times and in the same places? If you can, that's great. If you didn't, go back and listen again and make some comparisons. Now, I did some pretty simple rhythms that time, but this time I'm going to do some crazier rhythms. But I want you to notice that do and so are still in their same place. Listen closely. <laughs> So hopefully you can still tell that I'm using do and so in the same order as the bass line and for the same amount of time as the bass line, the same number of beats. But I'm just being creative with the rhythms on top of it. So this time I'd like you to try playing the bass line and put some cool rhythms on top. And if you want to keep it simple, that's great. If you want to go crazy with it, that's great too. I'll show you do and so in case you get mixed up, but try the bass line with some crazy rhythms. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. And you'll definitely want to try that a few times before moving on. If you can do that pretty well, do it without me cheating for you here. No numbers, see if you can keep track in your head. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. And once you can do that, you're ready to move on to the next video.